What's going on guys? Here we have some more Philip Brooks and what will actually be the final episode in this series. And I know this is only his junior year, but I may bring him back in NCAA 13. We'll see what happens, but we finished first place in the SEC, and now we play in the SEC Conference Championship game against the Auburn Tigers, who were in second place. Brooks had a very good season passing the ball and running the ball, and I will show you guys his statistics later on, but here we go in the game. And Brooks, he shakes off a defender and then he spins away from another one and then he runs up for a first down. He has done that his entire college career. And Florida is actually only the 13th ranked team in the nation below the 6th ranked Auburn Tigers even though we were higher in the conference standings. I'm not sure how the polls really work in the game. But anyways, here's Brooks throwing a deep one-on-one. -on -one. His man beats the cornerback. And that's going to be a touchdown for Florida. They go up 7-0 early, and they get the ball back. They're at about midfield on third and two in. There's a completion. That's the tight end right there. His favorite target. A little bit forward in the drive, and here we're at the 15-yard line. And Brooks buying some time. He's going to run away from everybody. And then he eventually tries to find his receiver, but it is off the mark and incomplete. So they have to attempt a field goal. And it is good. So Florida takes a 10-0 two-score lead. And their defense is playing very well as they have been. And now Brooks rolling out. Man open and the safety was coming over. But the ball gets there just in time. That's a completion. And now on second and five, Brooks the pass. And he is sacked on the play. That will bring up a third and long. Third and 15. Just a minute and 10 seconds left in the first half. And Brooks is just going to go deep. And there we go. Touchdown Gators. Another deep bomb to some of the speed here in Florida. And now on second and five. We're in the third quarter. 16-3. We missed an extra point and gave a field goal. And there's a great catch by the tight on the sideline. Way to keep your feet in bounds. And get two feet down because that's a real catch. Not one foot. I don't count that. And now here's Brooks going deep once again. The vertical passing attack has been doing very well as of late. And now we have second and goal, and I think I just hit snap too many times and threw the ball backwards, so we have third and goal from behind the 20-yard line. It don't matter. Let's go to the end zone one-on-one. -on -one. We like our chances in those situations. Another touchdown for Florida, and here we are simming the rest of the game, and Florida wins 23-10. Brooks with 248 passing yards and three touchdowns, another very solid performance. And so at 12-1, and one, I figure we go to probably the Sugar Bowl, and we did, but why are we playing UConn? 7-5, and five, not ranked in the nation, we're playing against the UConn Huskies, are you kidding me? They're barely over 500, they're like 5-2 and two in conference. And this is just something I did not understand at all. I thought we would play another one-loss team or a two-loss team. But not any team like this. We had one loss that was in conference, but for the most part we played fantastic all season. But we'll go into the game anyways, and here's Brooks' first passing attempt of the game. And on the play action, he finds his receiver up towards the 40-yard line. That moves the chains, and here we go, first and 10. Brooks under pressure, and he's just going to run away from all the defenders and just find the open field like he does best. And he gets into UConn territory. And now second and ten. Brooks once again moving around in the pocket. And he's just going to take off one more time. And we're inside of the ten yard line now up towards the seven yard line. And we'll go second and goal inside of the five. And Brooks is just going to step back and step up into the end zone. Touchdown Florida. And the guy that tried to take down Brooks got injured on the play, and Brooks just gets right up and starts celebrating. Now he got first and ten next possession. Brooks, he's going to let it fly. Look at this arm strength all the way to the end zone through the air. That's an awesome throw right there. Brooks excited about that. 14-0 Florida. And now we're going to run a little bit of option right. And <laughs> Brooks has other plans. He's just going to juke a defender, and he's going to take off himself. Look at all this green. Brooks is just such a fast player. And he's incredibly agile, and there's a new NCAA record for a longest run. And it's 21-0, so the Gators felt pretty disrespected playing against the UConn Huskies in this one, and they're just letting out all their anger on this defense. And it's 21-0, Florida threatening once again, and there we get a tight end involved in the end zone. Gators up 28 to nothing. the route is on. And their offense is just hitting on all cylinders. And now Brooks, he's just going to lob it deep once again. And this time it is intercepted by UConn, so they get a good defensive play. But they could not get any points out of it. Our defense has been phenomenal this season. And our offense has been very 
high powered and now we'll go deep again receiver open on the right sideline safety was very slow to get over and that's another big gain for the Gators offense and now 28 nothing Brooks tries to step up but he is sacked they'll set up fourth and goal and they kicked a field goal and now we'll go into their next possession Brooks steps up in the pocket and he's just gonna spin away from some defenders pick up around 20 on the play another good gain for Brooks on the ground and now on a passing play, Brooks just turns it into a run, takes it on that right side, a lot of green, nice juke and a great block, and he is tackled inside of Yukon territory, just having a monster day on the ground. They can't contain Brooks, he's just too fast. And now they have a screen set up, but Brooks has other plans, his receivers open deep, and he's got reservations for six, and the Gators take a 38-0 lead. UConn with no offense in this one and no answer for Brooks in the passing attack or his running attack. And now Brooks, he shoves away a defender, showing off some speed, gets around another Husky, and then he just turns inside, turns outside, and no one is fast enough to get him. This is what I was talking about. 46 to nothing after that amazing touchdown run. And Brooks, he is in a league of his own in this one. He just broke his old record that he set just a couple of minutes ago. And UConn was completely showed up today by the Gators. Brooks takes a rest for the rest of the game. Brooks with over 500 yards all purpose today, running and throwing, and six touchdowns he accounted for. One of his best statistical games as a Gator. And here we'll see his stats. Obviously, that last season was very bad 15 touchdowns, 21 picks, but we turned it around. 29 touchdowns, the six picks, and he was even better on the ground this year. So that will conclude the Phillip Brooks series. I do plan on maybe bringing him back in NCAA 13 because this was a very popular series on my channel. I know you guys really enjoyed it. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to make these videos, but I have a couple other Road to Glory series going on now, Tank Tucker and Jack Hammer. So thank you guys for watching. Here we'll check out the other bowl games. We'll scroll down. Check out the national championship, Oklahoma over Oregon. And that will conclude this season and this series. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.